fight like Emma Giore in the group fours. Right, here we are then. It's time once again for Daily Race B. Daily Race B this week then on Lago Maggiore. Lago Maggiore and back in the Group 4s. Group 4s are back. Four laps on Racing Hard Tyre, one times Fuel, one times Tyre and BOP. And a bit of a mixed feeling about the Group 4s being back. Just because of what happened in the Group 4s last time on Daily Race B at the Red Bull Ring. We're hoping the same thing doesn't happen here today on Lago Maggiore. And we'll therefore get some pretty good racing well looking on the leaderboard prior to entering it's looking quite promising at the moment then good vibes different cars that will be going up against today so with that said we should have half a decent chance so then looking forward to seeing how we get on in daily race speed this week we'll get in then and we'll see what happens right here we are then in p6 Right, good to go. Smash the foot on the loud pedal, off we go. Off the line then towards the first corner. As a matter, they're going up the inside there into turn one to take P6 there. First gear now for turn two again. Also has round like that. Short to second there to keep the back end in check. On the way out. Here we are then P7 and not so bad then. A good start then in this one. And so far then, relatively good news. We've got a Mazda just ahead of us there. Another one also just a bit in front of them. A couple more behind us as well. But so far then, mix of field then in this race so far. All good then in P7. We've got this low sunlight here on like the Maggiore here today could catch us out a bit on these apexes here Ferrari in front and I do believe that is a Ferrari behind us as well eyes and ears open for the hairpin at the bottom definitely eyes open for the Ferrari right behind us there bit of a defensive line they're going through the hairpin more so the Ferrari doesn't uh, crash into the back of us they're going to go through there they seem to be committed to taking that position and there they go into P7 and good move there by the Ferrari got a Lambo there now going up the inside they're having a bit of a look there on us in the final sector not seen a Lambo in a group 4 race for quite a while so it looks as though the Mazda group 4 has got no power here today instead got a variety onto lap 2 lap 2 P8 oh just about got myself slowed down there for the first corner nice out back then there's the Lamborghini no doubt they can move on us given the opportunity a bit of a funny corner this one for me on Lago Maggiore. Just get it round like that. This corner here too. Just sort of trying for the apex there. Short shift to third on the way out. Settling down then so far. So not so bad then. As things stand at the moment. It's happening here. Trying to carry as much speed as you can through. And get yourself powered back up the hill. Now trying to make some inroads then on the car in front through this final sector. And there's the Lamborghini. Four tents now. Three tents there behind us. And on to lap three then. Lap three. P8. Yeah, just holding stations at the moment then. So far, so good. The Nissan Sylvia is back in its element. Days of seeing trains of Mazda Group 4s going down the hill at Red Bull Ring in Group 4 races. Looking like a bit of defending here from the Lamborghini now right behind us there. And we'll do just that. Going into the left-hander here. Oh, but Lambert there's got a bit of a cut back there. Just keep an eye out of the inside there. And through they go into P8 there. Stay with them though. Going round this bit here. Down the hill towards the hairpin. Down the hill now. Staging the counter-attack. Down the hill into the hairpin. And there's a decisive blow up the inside there. Oh, but we just couldn't quite get it done though. There they are. Going back through there. Around the outside there to take back P8 then. Go with them then. We'll do duel for P8 here on Lago Maggiore. We've got three and a half there to the car behind. Focus now on the car in front. Going on to the final lap here. And final lap now. P9. And we make that P8 though on this final lap and a bit of a battle there going down the hill just ahead of us there the Mazda there P7 P6 there I get on then as the Lambo starts to just pull away from us a little bit there the battle there at the hairpin ensuing looks as though that one there is going to go all the way to the end just can't seem to get ourselves in contention in the closing stages here yeah looks as though from here P9 then but in all a not so bad race then and here we are in P9 Right, there we go. A not so bad P9. And yeah, looks as though we've got some good variety in this race then, which obviously is pretty good to see. It means you can use different cars and still be in with half a decent chance of doing well. So far then, so good 
on Daily Race Speed this week. And as ever, if you do happen to enjoy my pretty average driving at best on GT7, do like and subscribe, really do appreciate it. And if you do enjoy the variety of different Group 4 cars racing around here today on Lago Maggiore, do let me know by dropping a like on the video and hit the bell for notifications. So you know, when I upload new videos, me spinning out and crashing everywhere, and racing different Group 4 cars on daily races on GT7. Right, let's do a lap then. Right, we'll scrap the lap then. We'll try again next time. So, we'll get back in and we'll crack on. Here we go then, going from P10. As ever, strapped in. And as ever, good to go, we get underway. We're underway, down towards the first corner, and I think I ever so slightly missed my gear shift there at the start line. It cost us one place, and I think in a minute or two it's going to cost us another one. Let's just see, though, coming out the first corner. Just about defended it there. Have fallen down to P11. Right, let's crack on then and see what we can do from P11 then. I think first things first, try to get ourselves onto the back of the cars in front then. It's calm. Well, there it is. There's the track limit. Just can't see there the, uh, the track limit there. Luckily, no penalties for going wide. Well, I've had a penalty for doing that so far. Round the hairpin then, and looks as though a bit of a gap there to the car behind then at 2.3. Hopefully, we'll sort of pull away from them, and also try not to fall behind cars in front too much. One lap down then, on to lap two, and here we are then in P11. Now trying to start throwing round the Nissan Silvia to get ourselves onto the back of the cars in front there. Gap behind there seems to be pulling out a bit there, so three seconds now. Now Mazda ahead of us there has a 0.5, they're going to drop back when they take that 0.5 just round this corner here. There they are then, so half a second then gained on the car in front. To stay behind here for the hairpin, let's say dive bombing it there would not be a good idea. Oh yeah, going up there, six of them there going up the hill there. Oh, and a spin bit of contact there oh yeah looks like it's someone there going into the wall that's now p10 right in front of us now as a result of that bit of contact there by the look of it we've got to run here on the p10 going for the inside down to third just getting ourselves around the corner like that now going for the cut back there onto the start finish line they're going to be right with us then at the start of lap three there goes the sylvia once again back up the inside oh and sort of trying there for a wide line so just to sort of cut back on the inside there but quite work out. We'll try them and go with the car in front. Or well, P12 is definitely putting the foot down now. Either that or we're slowing down. The move there going into the hairpin. Looks like it down the inside there. Nissan versus Mazda. And that's going to allow us to close in here right into the back of them now. Or oh, bit of a gentle-ish punch there on the Mazda ahead of us there. Oh, oh hello. Look behind us. Oh yeah. Bit of a real touring car bit there going on. Let's keep an eye out there. Jason Plato going through on the inside. All of a sudden, Ferrari there is going to go through as well. Final lap, going backwards into the first corner. Trying to, oh yeah, a bit late on the brakes there. Ferrari also going a bit wide there. Bit of a light tap of the car in front there. And yeah, touring car battles on our hands here. Car off there on the right hand side there. So now P12. Well, we got there Jason Plato and Alan Menu just ahead of us there. They're going to be battling now all the way to the finish. The question is, can we stay in contention? Oh, there's a car off there just in front of us there. And they're just going to be that's trying it around the outside. Yeah, just about got through there. Looks as though something's going on. That is touring car battles going up the inside then. We've got Alan Menu, Jason Plato and John Cleland. The only question is... Well, Cleland be going for second. You see Tim Harvey and Steve Soper to come and join in. Well, just going to run out of time, getting around the final corner. But here we are, over the line, in P11. There we are then. Well, get your elbows out in that one. 
nice bit of BTCC camaraderie, friendly door banging, reaching track limit, and minor bumps to the front sides and back of your car, all in the name of good racing. So yeah, so far then, really enjoying this daily race, and it is that variety of car that I think is definitely making the difference with daily race B this week. It's better having different cars to go up against. There are Mazdas, but not very many of them, and so we can have some pretty good towing car battles by a trial lap. Right then, let's crack on and see where it's at now. Here we go then, in P6. Right, here we go. And we're away. towards the first corner and a very very fast starting Ferrari there going down the inside another fast starting Ferrari is now there oh yeah there they are just going through there into P7 and another fast starting Lamborghini Ferrari there McLaren getting a bit bobbed down here at the start of this one then but uh get ourselves around this corner here bit of contact going on there not quite sure what happened then oh there's the McLaren I just thought for a minute then the McLaren had spun out after hitting me well there we are then our mirrors absolutely full of touring car at the minute then going to be a case of where we're going to be at the end of the first lap. A bit of a move here quite possibly into the hairpin. Stay behind for now, get around the hairpin like that. Oh, we've gone a bit there on the exit. Just allows us there to go back through into P7. Bit of a really slow for some reason going up the hill. And there goes a the Ferrari and there goes oh, Lamborghini, Alfa Romeo. Just cuts across there. We're we'll going to the next corner. Now P10 we're very much in the thick of it then. In this one so far then as things stand at the moment. Bit of door banging there with the Alfa Romeo. And of course the final corner is trying there not to put the Alfa Romeo. P11 then at the start of lap 2. Oh and there going into the first corner. And that's P8 there. Just a bit of a look there on the Hurricane there that's gone out now into the tyre barrier. One a bit more there with the Alfa Romeo. Romeo. I've gone a bit there coming out the second corner. Through there goes the McLaren into P10 now. Here we are, they're going to try. A look here at the McLaren down the inside, getting ourselves back through there. The McLaren is having none of it. There they are, going back through there around the outside. We'll have to maybe start thinking outside the box then on how we're going to beat these guys here in this one. There's going to be a penalty there now taking place, and that's going to promote us there into P10, but there's the McLaren now going bumper to bumper with the Alfa Romeo just in front of us there. I think the Alfa Romeo there, the uh, the 93 Alfa, built like a brick lavatory. Pretty much shoot at it with a tank and it'll survive. And here we are, they're going through the final corner now, behind the McLaren then. Lap 3 now, P10. Is it going to be a move here for P9? No, but the McLaren there, we've both gone there. Sort of trying to allocate the space for the McLaren to, yeah, rejoin. There they are. Oh, I've got cramp in my left foot as well. Right, so a couple of bits then to managing this one then. Oh yeah, the cramp in my foot's getting actually really bad. Now we have to push on through. The McLaren there's gone again at the uh, right hander there. Someone now just up my inside there. Oh, and there they are, the mirrors there. This is Sylvia's going to go for the cut back there. Sort of struggling a bit now with my uh, cramp in my foot, to be honest. We must battle on though. Still got a lap and a bit to go here. But still by the look of it, lots going on. Exciting stuff here at Lago Maggiore. But onto the final lap. We've got ourselves a bit of breathing space in P10. For now, I say for now because anything's going to happen and I still think on this final lap there's going to be a couple more bits that are going to go on. We just need level head, concentration now. I want to think I'm really pushing it a bit here. Just kind of asking 
the gain there for a 0.5. Well, very lucky there. Well, I think, anyway, very lucky to not get a 0.5 there. Holding stations then in P10. And ourselves now onto the back of P9. Keep our foot down. Let's go for it. Now we're going to P9 then. Well, not over yet. There's still a few corners to go here. A couple of corners to go. I'd say a cleanish final corner. And we should be okay. Yep, yeah, looks like we've just about cracked it then. Here we go. P9. Ah, good bit of racing there. Good old touring car battles. Really enjoyed it. Uh, cramping my foot, though, causing a couple of bits here and there, but not so bad. We pushed on and we got the job done. As I say, really enjoyed it. Really good now that the uh, Mazda isn't standing out as the only Group 4 car you can use now. Other Group 4 cars are now back in the fold and it's good to see. And like I say, really enjoyed it. So now we'll go on to Daily Race C at Fuji International Speedway and we'll see what's going on there.